hello everyone welcome to another video tutorial on the code angle youtube channel in today's video i'll be showing us how to export a wordpress website and import it inside of go high level if you are wondering what go high level is go high level is a subscription based all-in-one marketing tool made specifically for marketers and agencies it allows agencies worldwide get ahead in their industries by providing lots of out-of-the-box tools if you are wondering what services go high level provides i'm gonna scroll down now and this is the go high level website and as you can see right here some of the services go high level provides is email marketing surveys and forms courses and product tools call tracking tools and as well as website builder and like i said for today we'll be touching on one of these website builder tool which is called wordpress now as you can see the pricing plan for go high level is divided into two there is the starter plan and then there's the unlimited plan the starter plan is for 97 dollars and the unlimited plan is for 297 dollars and all the features are explained in this on this website so i'm going to drop a referral link in the description box on youtube and you can use this referral link to create a new account on go High level and subscribe to see if this tool is what you need now i already created an account and this is my dashboard right here this is my agency dashboard and the way go high level works is once you create an account you have an agency account this agency account allows you to create sub accounts depending on your plan you can create as much sub accounts as you want and if you are wondering what sub accounts are sub accounts are the businesses you intend to provide solutions for that is if you want to create a website or some you want to render a service for a particular company you need to create a, a sub account for them and i already created one sub account as, a, as you can see i'm on the sub account tab on the sidebar and i already created a demo company right here and once you do this you don't get wordpress out of the box you need to uh, purchase wordpress and i already did that so i'm going to click on this particular uh, sub company or sub account i created and it will contain the details for me the plan i have i can only create one sub account that's why you can see i'm not able to create a new sub account so if you want to purchase wordpress you need to go to the reselling tab right here once you get to the reselling page the wordpress part is going to be blurred out just like this resell yes listing is blurred out it's going to be blurred out and you need to purchase it by activating your stripe account which i already did so once you activate your stripe account then wordpress will be available for your sub account any sub account you created it will be available for it now this is the agency view i'll need to switch to the sub account view so i'm going to click on sub account and once i click on sub account the side menu is going to change and we'll be able to see where wordpress is located you're going to click on sites and once you click on sites you click on the wordpress tab so if wordpress is not activated in the agency account which i just left this part is not going to be made available for you you'll be asked to go purchase wordpress and you need to that needs to be done in the agency site under the reselling tab so you need to do that so once you do that once you get here then you can get started with wordpress and once you click on get started you need to fill a form something like this to create a website wordpress website for your business so i already did that as well so now once you do that you'll be provided with a random wordpress url which shows the website as well as the admin access link so you'll be provided with both links so before i proceed i'm going to show you the different tabs which are available for us so under here we are on the dashboard uh, menu i'm going to click on the users menu it's going to show you who has who the users who have access to this wordpress website are and then you have the plugins it will show all the plugins available in the wordpress website you have the teams it will show you the current team currently used for the wordpress websites as well as any backup you've made is going to show it here the, the backups are automated based on any changes you make as well as the advanced settings which shows you where you can delete wordpress manage caching and ftp access so i'm going to head back to the dashboard and i'm going to launch the wordpress website for now it's not um customized it just shows only the version six of the wordpress team so it's a brand new website and I'm going to go to the admin area as well. So it's going to navigate to the admin area where you have the place where you can customize the WordPress website. Now to move on with this tutorial, which is to show you how to export maybe a WordPress website you have 
somewhere and then bring it into high levels now to do that you need to go to that particular wordpress website which is right here as you can see i have a wordpress website in my previous tutorial i show you how to create wordpress locally on your machine using a platform called bitnami this platform allows you to have a local version of wordpress on your machine without any cost involved you can check that video and see how i did it if you have any questions concerning that video you can freely drop a question in the comment section and i'm going to answer you in detail so i already have the local version of my wordpress which is a brand new website as well as you can see the domain name here is just a ip address and what i need to do is just to log into the admin area so i'm gonna type in forward slash admin which takes you to the admin area of the wordpress i'm already logged in previously so it allows me to have access to it so the first thing you need to do once you get to a brand new wordpress website is to probably delete all the pages so what i'm going to do is just to do a little customization of this website wordpress website and then export it into the high level wordpress website we have right here i'm gonna bring it right here but for the google high level website you can see it's still a uh, it still has the version version 16 yeah so it's it's not customized at all so i'm gonna show you how to do that so first i'm gonna move all the pages to trash and then i'm gonna delete all the plugins by selecting all the plugins and then click on delete and then click on apply and all the plugins get deleted now that all the plugins have been deleted i'm gonna click on add new to show you the plugin that allows us to export our wordpress website so i need to install that now so i've clicked on the add new button next up i'm going to search for all in one wordpress migration plugin i'm going to click on install as you can see this is the all in one wordpress migration it has 5 million plus active installations and then click on activate so that will activate the plugin for us another wordpress plugin i need to install is called under construction so that's going to be the landing page of this website so i'm going to search for under construction click on install now as you can see, it has 600,000 plus active installations. Now that is also activated. Now the next step is to go to settings, then select under construction. So now I'm going to make a few settings right here. So the first thing I'm going to do is to activate the under construction mode by turning it on. And then I'm going to save changes. So that means if you go to the website, let's go to visit site and we can click on preview under construction you can see this is what the landing page now looks like so what i'm going to do is to export this website to go high level so what i need to do is to go back to the wordpress dashboard click on the all in one wordpress migration click on export click on file and then the export process begins so now that the export process is complete the bundle size is 24 MB. Now I need to go to the GUI level dashboard and then I'm going to click on drop files here and then I'm going to select downloads and the newly downloaded WordPress website is what I'm going to select and I'm going to click on open and then the import process begins. It might take a while so you just have to be patient. Now you can see we get a congratulations message. Your file has been uploaded successfully. You can now request migration. So just click on request migration. That's going to take a little while as well. Generally, they say it takes up to 30 minutes. But when I did it, it, takes, it took less than 30 minutes. So let's just wait for it to compile. I, I think it depends on the size of the WordPress website you are trying to import. As you can see, that is complete as well. Now I can now go back to the link or better still, you can just refresh our link right here and we should see the under construction uh, landing page showing. So as you can see, we've been able to export our external website into the Go High Level WordPress website. So if I head back to the Go High Level dashboard, if you check out the users tab, you can see the users tab is going to be different. It's going to be the user of the website we exported. It's going to be configured there and all the plugins we installed is going to show here. For instance, the all-in-one WordPress plugin is going to show here because that's in our new WordPress website. So anything that is in the export is going to be showing right here under our WordPress uh, website and it's going to be backed up as well. So the backup, the backup is going to be here as you can see right here. So um, I think that's it for this video. In the next video, I'm going to show us how we can customize our domain name. As you can see, Google Level generated a random domain name for us, but we don't want to use this domain name. So I'm going to show us how we can buy a domain name and then customize it right in Google Level. So thank you very much for watching this one, and I'll see you again very soon.